Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm back again with another video. Today, this is a Minecraft video. Uh, yes, I still do play Minecraft. This is my world, by the way. If you want to, if you want my Minecraft worlds, I might put a download link to them. Uh, but let me know in the comments if you want to hear. But, uh, I've made up this, uh, little clear door. Like, one behind me. It looks completely clear. You will need cheats for this, because it uses barrier blocks. And you need cheats for that, and command blocks. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, uh, right over here, this is how it works. So, basically, it's a, uh, it's barrier block. So, if I'm in survival mode, you can see I can't break them. So, when I, so, by default, the barrier blocks are on. And then, when you step on the pressure plate, it goes away. Kind of like a piston door. And no matter how fast you go through it, you'll, it will still open in time. So, like, let's just, uh... Yeah, okay, so it works perfectly fine, and you can have it more than just two two blocks. Like, here's a five-block example, works just fine. Or even right here, we got a ten-block. And uh, so I'm going to show you how you can do this in uh, Minecraft. So, uh, so that way, you may be able to put this cleared little door. It looks nice, and at the same time, no one can even go in. Unless if they step on the pressure plate. So, let's go ahead and get started with building. Alright, so, the things that you, you're going to need to build this are down here. You can see you need a redstone torch, a command block, redstone dust, uh, a pressure plate of any any kind, and some blocks. Some, like, blocks to build in and some to blend in with the floor. So, right here, uh, let's go ahead and make a two. We can make a two block one, for example. It may it mostly extends so with the other ones is just you make them longer So I'm gonna make it a two one a two block door right here So first let's get the commands ready So put a block like here or something and here and it doesn't matter what the block is So go in the command uh, slash okay, and then type fill If you can see it. Yep fill and then you tab three times, space, copy it by pressing Control A or Command A if you're on Mac. And then uh, up here, you do you press T this time, not the command prompt. You could, but you have to delete the slash. So you, then you paste it, then you tab three more times, and then you press a space. And we're gonna make this barrier, which should pop up there. Now select the whole thing and press copy. Make sure that your command works. You can see it works. So now let's go ahead and put the pressure plates down. So I'm gonna put the pressure plates on both sides, as you can see. So now let me go ahead and go, let me go down real quick. Uh, let me just make the weather clear. All right, so let me go down here a little bit. Make sure you have enough space to modify around and make sure so I know that the pressure plates are these two blocks right here. So I need to put, you need to put two blocks on both pressure plates and connect them in a way, like somehow. That way all the redstone dust is connected. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is on one side of it, put a redstone torch. It doesn't matter which side because they're both connected. Redstone torch and then make sure that it's connected to this command block. Preferably pointing it at it. Now, go ahead and paste that whole command in, the barrier one, right here. Then, move away from the redstone torch and from, like, one of these other ones. Go ahead and uh, connect it through a redstone dust. Not from the torch, but from here. And go ahead and put the command block in here. Paste the command, but instead of barrier, type air, which is basically nothing. All right? So now... When we go up, let's just put the block down real quick. Now, you can see that it's a barrier, but then when you step on it, it's completely empty, so that way you can go through. Because what basically if, you're, basically, if you don't understand how this works, the pressure plates, uh, uh, by default, the redstone torch is on, and that is the one that does the barrier. When you step on the pressure plate, it activates the red. It activates the redstone below it. It activates this redstone right here, 
which then turns off this redstone torch, and it doesn't do that command, it does this command, which happens to be the air one, the, which one, the one that does uh, the air command. So that's a little quick tutorial of how to do it. And yes, it, you can still step on it and do it perfectly fine in survival. It's just you, you have to do the commands in creative. So that's gonna be it for my little tutorial. If you guys like that uh, little little door I made up, definitely be sure to like and subscribe. But uh, in the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, one last thing before I end it. Uh, if you want to make it longer, you can pretty much make it as long as you want. Uh, 15 blocks or more, like when the redstone runs out, you'll have to put a repeater to keep going. But basically, you could do this door like however long you want. Like you could do it to like 200 blocks or whatever. And, uh, yeah, basically that's, that's how it works. And, uh, hope you liked that video and, uh, see you guys later.